Hey, hello there, uh, what's up? It's Ami, an 80, and I'm back on track with a fresh and uh, pretty exciting video on the channel in VR. That's right. Today we are going to check out Home, an experience by the BBC that throws you into the void 250 miles above Earth. It's an award-winning VR spacewalk inspired by NASA's training program and the astonishing adventures of its astronauts. Home puts you at the center of the story, taking you on an emotional and personal journey, while delivering beautiful, heart-stopping and memorable moments. And that sounds great to me, now it's time to check this one out and jump right into the metaphors. Let's -a go! And here we are in BBC's home. A VR spacewalk. That's right. This is beautiful. What a view from up here. It's fantastic. Anyway, let's uh, dive deeper into the metaphors. We got two modes we can pick. We have easy and uh, astronaut. Let's go for the last one, shall we? I'm up for an adventure. Warning! This mode contains highly disorientating sections and should only be attempted by experienced VR astronauts. That's me. Are you sure? Of course. Let's do this. I'm ready. Woo. Pressure down to 0 0.35 bars, falling to 0 0.2. EV-1 moving towards the Quest airlock. Airlock approaching vacuum. Prepare to move Canada Arm into position. Canada Arm in motion. EV-2, we're one minute from egress. Time for last checks. Take a look at your gloves for us. Make sure there are no tears. Whoa, I'm wearing a suit. Awesome. Okay, <laughs> Houston has visual contact on the helmet cam. Your heart rate and oxygen levels are on your chest if you want to check, EV2. Readings look fine down here. Come on out, buddy. Water's great. This is great. Can I uh, grab that? No. Can I interact with the buttons? Doesn't seem to work. That's a shame. What a mess. <laughs> Reach out in front of you and grab those yellow railings. Remember, pull the trigger on the hand controls to grip and pull yourself forward. Take some practice. I will give it a try. Okay, test run. Let's see you secure your tether. Grab hold of oh. that clip. Fix it onto the yellow handrail. Squeeze the trigger to get a hold. Sure. Okay, that's great, EV-2. Space Station Command, Houston here. We are ready to open the airlock. Copy that, Houston. Airlock hatch is opening. EV-2, your toolbox is attached to your waist belt. We are ready for you to move outside. Space is just through that hatch in front of you. Just push it open and take a look. I will, I will. This is my moment. Grab hold of the yellow handle. Pull yourself up. Wow. Give us a wave, EV2. We're all looking up at you. Six Check. years of training was worth it for this, right? This out. Take it nice and easy. We want to keep your heart rate steady. Anything under 80 beats per minute is great. EV2, readings down here are optimal. This is going to be a walk in the park for you. That's my planet. It's okay. My heart rate was going nuts the first time. Ha. <laughs> Isn't she lovely? Ah, oh, stunning. Hey! Hey, newbie. Great you could join me. Let me pull down those shades for you. Please! Ah, uh, much better. Yeah, need a bit of sunblock up here. I'm sticking with you till we get to the arm. We figured you might need some company for the first section. We're it means... headed just over this way. Oh, whoa! What is happening to my view? Reach out in front of you and grab those yellow railings. Remember, pull the trigger on the hand controls to grip and pull yourself forward. 
Take some practice. Take it easy there. Ooh. Oh, this is tricky. Am I upside down? Reach up to the handle on your right. My brain. Don't worry. It'll all get a lot easier on the arm. Does not compute. Careful, Natey. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, what is that? Here she is. We're gonna let the crane take the strain. Wouldn't want to oh. drag yourself all the way over on your own, right? Oh, of course, of course. EV2, EV1 will snap you into the foot restraint once you're in place. Head towards the T-bar and grab on. I'm in that position. I'm ready to rumble. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, you're strapped in and ready to go. The camera's in the toolbox on your tether. It's a point and shoot. Nice and easy. Ah. AV1, let us know when you're clear. Give me five seconds and I'm out of the picture. Enjoy the ride, cowboy. Thank Any you. problems, just holler and I'll be over in uh, about 45 minutes. Bye. 45 minutes? Station, Houston here. Oh my. You are go to start Canada arm motion. Oh. Motion commencing. We're moving. It was my call on the soundtrack. If you're more into the sound of silence, just tap the panel on your left arm to turn it off. I won't get offended. Oh, tap it again to turn it back on. We're getting a little tour outside of the uh, International Space Station. Pretty neat indeed. Wow. Nice. Do you see the Great Barrier Reef? Isn't it beautiful? Sunset in one minute. This is a dream of mine, going to space. 40 seconds to motion stop. Not sure if it will ever happen. But hey, a trip to Mars? 30 seconds to motion stop. Why not? Sign me up, Elon. Oh, I see the damage. 20 seconds to motion stop. Let's uh, fix it. Slow but steady. Just a few more seconds to destination. Sunset in 10 seconds. Turning on ISS lights. Motion stop. Nice landing, station. Okay, EV2. We're ready to disengage you from the arm once you're tethered up. Hook yourself onto the yellow grapple bar in front of you. EV2, look right. Continue pulling yourself along using the yellow handles. Gotta go fast. Almost there. Okay, um, that's more damage than we expected. Ooh. Let's take some photos for now, EV2. We can make a call later on whether that oh. needs to be replaced. Ah. Look down to find your toolbox. You're gonna need to open it up and pull out the camera. The camera. Hey! No! No! Get back here! Are you... Are you kidding me? No! Oh! What Houston, was that? We have debris incoming. EV-1, we copy. Station, prepare the airlock. We're in an oh. abort situation. No, we can't. Get back on the arm. Now. Houston. EV2 is off structure. Repeat, EV2 is off oh. structure. Houston, EV2 is off structure. Please copy. EV2 is loose. Station has lost visual contact. Houston, do you copy? Please confirm. We are so screwed. Uh, EV1, we copy. I'm a lost star, man. Ugh. This is getting me a little motion sick. Just a little bit. I'm fine. This is what I signed up for. Houston, lights are down. Station, turn on emergency lights. 
Houston, we have lights on the ISS. Help. I am too far away to assist EV-2. What should we do? EV-2, you have one minute of fuel in your jetpack. We need you to navigate back to the airlock using the hand control. I can do Move that. Down. Move the joystick oh. in the direction you want to go. Station, switch off all lights except those on the airlock for guidance. EV-2, you are go to commence thruster firing. There it is. I'm close. All right, buddy. You oh, got plenty hard. in the tank. You can do it. To control. Take it nice and easy on those controls. Don't want you staying out here. I'm going all over the place. Okay, focus. Trying. Oh, the spinning. EV2, fuel down to 50%. My brain says no. So close. Almost. Oh. I can I can I can smell it. I can I can see it. Of course I can't smell it. Maybe you silly. EV2. Fuel less than 20%. Oh. 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 No. EV2. Fuel at 10%. No. Oh! EV2, fuel less than 5%. Ah. EV2, you're out of fuel. Stand by while we work through the problem. Rip, Natey. EV2, oh. stand by. So unfair! EV2, stand by. But hey, that's life. I guess. EV2, stand by. EV2, Is that how it ends? Wow. Okay then. And that was uh, BBC's home, a VR spacewalk. What looking back on Earth made me realize was the importance of those human relationships in life. And I hope I will always remember that actually, you know, when all is said and done, um, you can do without the vast majority of stuff on Earth. It's just so important that we can use all of the means that we have to find out as much as possible about the Earth and all that is going to increase our standards of life for many generations to come. That's it. Now it's time to jump to the outro and uh, end this video. Let's -a go! And that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, was uh, home on the channel for now. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this video. If you did, then be sure to slam that like button as always. And let me know in the comments below what I should play uh, next. That would be nice. So yeah, I gotta say, for a free VR experience, home isn't too bad. But it is not very impressive compared to the other free experience I played called Mission ISS. If you could pick one of these two, I would definitely go for Mission ISS instead. It just has way more content, is easier to control, has more interaction to it and is last but not least, not an experience that is point to point. No, you are free to explore whatever you want. The only con is that Mission ISS has been built for only the Rift and not for the Vive, while Home supports both platforms. They have one thing in common though, the way you move through and outside the space station is extremely intense. You are constantly turning around, but hey, what do you expect from a title that simulates space? Funny enough, after playing this I discovered that there are actually two endings. You can or die in space or get rescued by grabbing the hatch. Here's a clip by Zeran1, he actually makes it to the space station. Come on now. <laughs> I'm stuck. We have contact, Houston. EV2, airlock hatch is open. <laughs> Welcome home.
Yeah, so technically it is possible to make it out of there alive. I just found using the jetpack very challenging. It doesn't seem natural at all. I felt lost. I was going all over the place because of the spinning and it was hard to stop that. It didn't feel like I could really decide what direction I was going. I did a bit of research later on and I found out that if you play it on easy, you are not turning or spinning that much. That's why most people survive this version of the experience, because it's easier to control. Anyway, home plays and feels cheap in my opinion. You can't interact with anything by yourself, most of the actions are scripted and as a player you have simply no freedom. The only real way you can move around the ISS is by grabbing the handrails. It's a nice idea, I agree, but I've seen other free experiences do it way better. In this title, that concept is still a bit rough around the edges since your hands are not grabbing the handles very accurately. I would also like to tell you that home is a front-facing experience. I tried to look behind me, but you can't. It's uh, not possible. Very strange indeed. Leaving a 360 playstyle out is a big missed opportunity in my opinion. On the positive side, the free uh, view you are getting is fantastic, it's amazing. But not only that, the suit you get to wear lets you feel like a true astronaut. The quick interaction you have with one of your colleagues outside the station felt great. They might have to leave the fast camera movement out since it causes motion sickness, but overall that part was cool. So in the end, I don't think they will change much to a home, a VR spacewalk. It came out a year ago and their last patch happened in November 2017. After all, our expectations shouldn't be too high. It's a free experience that seemed to have served its purpose. It's available for free on Oculus Home and Steam. I do hope the developers did learn from home and will use some of the feedback they received from the community to build better experiences in the near future. And that's about it. I want to uh, thank you all for watching once again. And now it's time for me to sign off. And as I always say, and I see you guys uh, next time. See you in the metaphors. Bye bye to infinity and beyond. Haha. <laughs> oh, that was uh, intense. Yes.